Ahmad Rasool is an assistant professor of political science at the University of Tennessee. He joins me now at the, uh, to talk more about this uh, bizarre phenomenon, actually. I mean, first of all, I have to address this with you. China's economic numbers are, of course, based on official data. So I just want to establish how much confidence you have in the official statistics saying that, yes, we are creating billionaires and overall growth is very positive. Uh, first off, thank you for having me. One of the things about the Chinese official numbers is they're astounding. Um, in, in a world that is suffering through economic downturn, the Chinese figures are surprising. And even if we were to take them with a grain of salt, uh, these are impressive figures. Even if we assume the Chinese growth rate is not at 6%, um, even if it's at 3.5%, that's still very impressive. Uh, but the amount of billionaires that are popping up in China, the speed at which they're popping up, that is uh, shocking, to be honest with you. Right. And, and what is, uh, what's ironic about it is that, you know, at a time when billions of, of people are really struggling with the economic fallout from COVID-19, it in a way doesn't even seem fair to see so many billionaire, billionaires created, especially in a communist system that's supposed to thrive on equality uh, rather than kind of, you know, economic, huge economic gaps like this. And, and that's one of the things. The, the, the surprising part about the Chinese growth model is ever since Deng Xiaoping in the mid-1990s, uh, it is a communist regime that is running effectively a capitalist economic system. And initially, it was perfectly fine because it gave the country the growth it needed. It was growing at a fairly fast rate. But at the same time, what has happened within the last five, 10 years, and it's been expounded by COVID-19, is the difference between the richest and the poorest is increasing. Yes, the middle class has increased, uh, but income inequality, which was never on the radar of the Chinese Communist Party as a major issue domestically, is suddenly becoming an issue for them. Uh, so it, it's a weird situation, but going forward, this is one of those challenges that the Communist Party of China has to address. You can't run a communist regime and then produce five billionaires right. per week, according to their own numbers. I mean, really quickly, would you say these are kind of the Chinese robber barons? You know, are these the Carnegies and the Rockefellers that we saw in the 20th century in the United States now emerging in China? Very, very similar to that. It, this is a new class of mega rich. And thing is, it's not going to stop. Uh, people like Jack Ma are there for the long haul. He has created a monopoly on essentially online trading, and he's into a bunch of different businesses as well, everything from payments uh, to business-to-business -business growth. So yeah, it, it, we're looking at the formation of the new brand of Rockefellers or Carnegie's or the Vanderbilt's, uh, but with Chinese characteristics. Right. And and that's what's, what's altering, I think, domestic politics of China, and that's a fairly large challenge for yeah. Xi Jinping. We'll see if it's sustainable. Okay, Adnan Rasool, thanks so much for joining us.